Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Daily Dollar. This is episode six. Uh, another day, another dollar. <laughs> yeah, she was dying to say that tagline. What's the name of this podcast again? The Daily Dollar. You can't speed through the title. The Daily Dollar, like, let these welcome people know. Welcome to The Daily Dollar. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, something. Sing yeah. it. Maybe you should sing it every intro. I'm not a great singer, but I do love to sing. Definitely so. not a great singer. Here we are. Um... I'm your host, Kate McCready. Yeah, I'm here with Art Morrison III. <laughs> and today we are talking about branding in real estate. Episode six, you said. Episode six. Insert hand clap. Ooh. I don't know why I clap like the, the the monkey with the things. That's week two. So this yeah. is week two of our podcast. Week two, episode six of the Daily Dollar podcast. I'm pumped. What'd you say the topic was? Let's get into it. Is branding necessary in real estate? Is branding necessary in real estate? Branding. What's branding? Marketing, branding. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you are off today, man. We got to record these like during the work week. Uh, what is branding? So I'll answer it's that. It's how you again. represent yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Branding is, or what is a brand rather, right? Yeah. Branding is, is, you know, the verb version. No, the, yeah, branding is a verb. <laughs> verb, it's what you do. <laughs> Remember this oh, commercial? man, we're killing, we're, we're botching it. We already okay. two minutes of wasted time. Okay. Nah, so branding, right? Branding, especially in business, is how you represent your company. Um, in, in ways without saying, hey, I'm representing my company, let me tell you about it, right? Like, so when you think of branding, what's something you think of, right? Like, I think of color. What Ooh, else? Logo. Logo. Font. Mm-hmm. What else? Come on, let's go back and forth. Uh, flyers. Messaging. Oh, okay. Narrative. Yeah. What else? You can throw Voice. Stuff. Voice is a good one, right? Yeah. So when you think of branding, you think of all those things. So if I were to ask you, like, hey, what's Chick-fil-A's brand? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> red that's their product but yeah, yeah. right red and Christian. red and white do you think it's red and white by mistake no this yeah. almost guaranteed there's some sort of science behind why their logo is red and white why is our green ours green grass real estate land. no dollar the daily dollar grass real oh estate. i thought you were talking about uh united home relief yeah it's green money i know all right. It well, doesn't it change was, what company it, I mean, it is. it was green and brown, so that was... Yeah, brown was initially. the land, but we got rid of the brown. So now the green... It's just money. I it's guess you money can, and land. Okay, it's money and grass, babe. Like, <laughs> money and grass. Anyway, right? So yeah, we got green. Uh, uh, I actually mimicked the font of the United Home Relief brand to be very similar to Wells Fargo's. Yeah. Uh, for that same reason, right? Think money, think capital, think growth, think, think professionalism. Um, but back to Chick-fil-A, right? Give me something else outside of the color that Chick-fil-A uses, like... The cow. The eat more chicken. Oh, the okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a that's not even their logo, but yeah. it's, like, representative of their company because their narrative yeah. or their tagline is eat more chicken, right? Right. Like, the, 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 the whole narrative is, hey, stop eating cows. We all eat too much beef. Eat chicken, right? That's right. their narrative. So they have a whole message, and... What's more important is not that they have a message, but that we can sit here on a podcast and speak for three minutes on their message. Like, we know clearly what it is. Right. Why is that important in real estate? Especially in the kind of real estate we're in. I'm lost. Why is it important that other people know your brand narrative and, and message? Oh, to differentiate yourself from anyone else Yeah, how come you're lost industry? today? Are you okay? <laughs> like, bro, we're on a podcast. I, I am a little lost today. Oh, my goodness. So... The point of my question was that branding in real estate is extremely necessary because when you're dealing with capital, you're dealing with assets as powerful as real estate, um, you need to have a brand that backs that up. So like the same way a brand can help you, a brand can also hurt you. So for example, like you never see me in a suit. I don't wear suits. I, I, wear, I literally will wear sweats. I'm very casual about how I conduct my real estate business. So I almost have to overcompensate in ways like, let's say the way that I speak, um, the way that we present. Like, so boom, if I'm on Instagram and I'm in sweats all day talking about how cool real estate is and how cool I am and how much money we make, I'm going to attract a certain kind of person, let's say in the DMs or in general. Mm. So our branding needs to be so on point that when it's time to uh, reciprocate really what the company, the core company is about and not what art is about, right, there needs to be a strong line there like hey listen I know you see us with sweatsuits and this and that but when it comes down to it we have email etiquette right we make sure that our email isn't a gmail it's our actual website right we make sure we actually have a website right like there's nothing worse than me being on Instagram hey 
invest in our company, $25,000, and I don't even have an email. So I didn't even invest in an email. Right. But I'm an, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, I, Or I don't even have a website, rather, right? But I'm yeah. asking you to invest in the company. Yeah. Right? We come so, across a lot of a poorly branded people. Yeah, or like, unprofessional people, right? Like, if, if I didn't have a logo and I didn't have a company to represent what it is we're doing, then it would literally be art asking people for capital to yeah. fund real estate deals, right. which is like ghetto as hell. So when I think about branding and real estate and if it's necessary, I mean, my first thought is absolutely because real estate being one of the oldest industries in the world and universe, mm -hmm. um, at least when we hopped in, and even now, the branding amongst the industry is very poor. It's, yeah. it's a super old industry. A lot of it is old people who don't care, who already have money, who already conduct business. And bigger than that, it's OD saturated. Yeah, that too. There's mad real estate company. Like, we're not the only real estate company. We're not even the only real estate podcast. We're not right. even the only millennial real estate podcast. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we have to find something in our brand that connects with people to make people trust us right. in the real estate space, not just to invest. I know I spoke on that, but right. also to just do business with. Yeah. Right? Um, to... To... What's another one? Who else? Are we? Uh, sellers, right? When we're approaching sellers, yeah. what's the first thing they ask? Are you a scam? Right. <laughs> and how do you how do you prove to them you're not a scam? We send them our website. Yeah. Or and, our, and any type of marketing anything, collateral. Anything. Website, yeah. Instagram, marketing collateral. Like yeah. if I have a brochure and a business card, even if I'm a small business, right? We're not talking about small versus big or making it seem like we're a big business. Right. It's just showing that you took the time as a business to do what businesses need to do. And that's create a brand and create an identity of your own. So yeah. like this, as soon as somebody's like, yo, is this a scam? We're like, no, we're not a scam. Here's our website. Here's our Instagram. Here's a business card. Here's a brochure, actually. Mm -hmm. We're going to come to your house. We're going to do a presentation, right? So all of those things, if you like were to ball them all up in, in its entirety, is your branding, right? And we can go down this rabbit hole about any business. But in real estate, it's extremely, extremely important because you're dealing with so much money right. And, and assets, people's living situation. You're dealing with where people live, whether you're buying it from them or selling it to them. Right. Right. You have a brand to uphold, whereas I, the only way I can explain it is if we did not have United Home Relief and the brand and mm -hmm. the color scheme and the Instagram page and the website, and we were just doing this as Kate the Couple, which there are a lot of people who are doing it and a lot of people who are successful, would we be where we are now as fast as we are? I highly doubt it. There's absolutely no way because we've gotten so much business just from our branding. Yeah. Also, I was going to say on the other side of things, we kind of touch base on it. But when people think real estate, they think us. So if it's people who aren't in real estate already and it's maybe our friends or, or somebody who's online seeing us or comes across our page, the first thing they think of is maybe our logo. Our logo has a house in it for a reason, right? Correct. So when... They come across maybe their aunt or uncle or their mom wants to sell their house. Oh, that was the big point. I think that's even why we wrote this topic Right, now. that's what I mean. Because we had like three days in a row where people were literally coming up to us and yeah. say, hey, like I have this opportunity for you. Or hey, I'm a plumber. Or hey, my aunt is thinking about selling her house. Yeah. But I just wanted to approach you because every time I think about it, I think about you subconsciously. We literally of... had somebody come up to us in the gym saying that. Yep. So that's extremely important yep. and very yep. helpful to our business. So yes, it's great. Um, it helps you be professional to investors, to sellers, to buyers and all that. But when it comes down to it, it's that name recognition. Like we're not in the chicken business but we know chick-fil-a for what chicken when we think chicken we think chick-fil-a so fact. that's what we want people to think when they think real estate they think united home relief and kate and art absolutely absolutely so to answer the question is branding important in real estate the answer not only is, is it important it's essential and it's also going to bring you to the next what's level. the title is it important or is it essential is it necessary i said it's branding necessary in real estate i like essential it's a good word We'll essential. put that as the title. Is branding essential? It's absolutely essential. Yeah. And necessary is a little stronger than essential, but essential sounds cooler. Yeah. It's certainly essential. Actually, I won't say it's necessary because people do do it without. That's what I mean. I don't. I think so I worded it as necessary is very important. because it's not. It's not really emphasized in real estate. At least it hasn't been for hundreds of years, and now, because it is kind of a saturated. Area yeah. At the, the moment, the, the companies that have the best branding are construction companies. And yeah. I won't say the best, but I'm yeah. saying that are adamant about branding is construction companies because there's so much competition. Mm -hmm. 
uh, companies that raise capital to do real estate, it's always something capital or something right. investments, right? Yeah. Those, they, they're very adamant about branding. Uh, obviously, brokerages because, like, they have to. Um, but then outside of that, your general investor a lot of times skips that branding part. Right. They'll just invest as art or even just for, it'll be like Morrison Real Estate, which is, like, still good branding. I'm not even saying it's bad, but... Um, you have to understand psychologically there is a science in like you said even the, the house and our logo and yeah. it being the color green yeah right like that's i like i remember being on a plane coming up with the name and the logo and the colors and googling like what green meant in logos right, right? googling what you think money i think grass <laughs> yeah but, but either way it was <laughs> a both win work, yeah. right like i used the word relief like yeah to relieve uh I, my my goal was to relieve dilapidated neighborhoods or, or distressed neighborhoods of dilapidated properties, right? right. Um, relieve uh, motivated sellers or distressed sellers yeah. of their property. Or relieve them of a situation they don't want to be in. Exactly. Because a lot of time, motivated sellers are people who are going through a divorce, people going through foreclosure, people yep. going through major changes in their lives that, good or bad, but yep. they, it is something that they want to be relieved of. And then home is in there just because well, <laughs> well, I knew I had to choose between home, real estate, realty, properties. Yeah. So I went with home and then united, it means like together, right? We yeah. do it together, whether it's you and I, us and investors, partners, whatever. And then on top of that, united also meant like united as in United States. I want everyone to know, hey, this is national. I don't want you to see our brand, see like Jersey home relief, right? New Jersey home relief. And, and now you think like yep. you pigeon toe us or you pigeon, pigeon toe us, pigeon hole us. <laughs> Goodness gracious, what a day. You pigeonhole us into New Jersey, right? So anyway, those are some examples of why branding is essential in real estate and why I'm so specific on branding. But ultimately, it really has propelled us to a level of success that uh, not only most never reach, but most don't um, reach as fast because they just weren't intentional about that mm -hmm. small thing, right? That could be the... Yo, there's people that are better than me or smarter than me or more polished than me or more experienced than me in this real estate game. Right. I know them. I do business with them. But our branding is stronger, so we're growing at a faster pace. That's really like the lump sum of the, like the proof of what this topic is. It's because like how many people do we do business with? Friends, people I went to high yeah. school with, people who are mentors even, right? Like, yo, our branding is stronger than all of theirs, so our company is simply growing at a faster pace yeah. because we leverage social media, we leverage websites, and blah, 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 blah. Absolutely. So, branding, so the essential in real estate. The, the answer is yes. Yes, absolutely. Right, the answer is yes. So, with that being said, like, share, subscribe. Art Morrison the third here. Kate McCready here. Uh, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast now. Uh, we're streaming on everything, so make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, and if you can't remember the name of the podcast, The Daily Dollar, just go to our uh, website, unitedhomerelief.com. Everything's up there. We have our uh, our daily blog. We have our daily podcast. And then we have our real estate roadmap, which is similar to this podcast, but intentional teachings where we dig into each of these topics. And we actually walk you through uh, real estate transactions from contract to close. So it's like a really robust real estate course that we're probably going to push on every single episode. So if you listen to this and you find it valuable and you like it, uh, I, I really would love if you guys like, share, subscribe with a family or friend. And if you really, really, really liked it and you're like, I want to learn from those two, visit unitedhomerelief.com, grab our course, and let's learn together. All right? All right. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace. See ya.